welcome to my channel. My name's Ali and this here is Saturn. And in today's video, I'm discussing winter care fortune chillers. Now, do I wear this hat for the entirety of this video? Um, what do you think, Saturn? I think it looks a bit silly, so I am going to remove it. So okay, winter care for your chinchillas. So in general, winter care is pretty similar to summer care. There are a few kind of tips I can give you regarding winter care. But yeah, the care is basically very, very similar. Let's start with diet. The only difference I would say is that in the winter months, if your chinchillas in a colder environment, I mean, most people keep their chinchillas in their houses, which has a fairly constant temperature. But if you don't, I do know a few people that keep their chinchillas in sheds or in their garage where they maybe not don't have central heating attached to those areas. In those circumstances, when the temperature is really, really cold, the chinchillas will generally eat more foods. They need more pellets and they need more hay and they generally will gain weight over the cold months. And that is because it's a natural way for them to bulk up and be and better protected from that cold. So I know in the UK some chinchilla breeders do have their chinchillas in chinchilla units which are basically glorified sheds and they don't offer them any heat at all during the winter months and all they say to look out for is if the water freezes. So a lot of my chinchillas are actually in an outbuilding and the outbuilding is connected to my main house but it doesn't have central heating me personally i never really let it get to a freezing temperature i don't like that at all chinchillas although chinchillas can cope with that freezing freezing temperatures because they're built to they have lovely thick fur and all that they don't actually like it that cold i actually keep a heater in my chinchilla room and it keeps the temperature at around 13 14 degrees it will never ever go below that if your chinchillas are in an environment that's significantly colder than it is in the summer then they probably will eat a bit more and you probably have to provide them a little bit more food they generally will put on extra weight in the winter months now if you have your chinchillas in a house where the temperature is fairly constant throughout the year you won't see any change at all so supplements do you need to give your chinchilla any supplements during the winter months no, not really, not what I've found really. Um, as long as you're offering a good quality pellet and good quality hay, there shouldn't really be any need for supplements at all because they should be getting all the right nutrition from their just general diet. You don't really need to give them extra on top of that. Now, if your chinchilla is older or is unwell, then you might well want to supplement them with extra vitamins and minerals but generally speaking it's not really necessary so the next one is watch the temperature now this one is one that often gets forgotten in the winter months because we're so concerned with summertime keeping our chinchillas nice and cool in the summertime is quite stressful but we forget about the winter but because it's cold outside we sometimes forget what the temperature is in our houses so for example in the winter months people tend to crank up their heating and you do just have to be mindful that it's not too hot for your chinchilla so i know some people in the winter months have their houses at a sweltering level like really really hot i'll go into the house and think blimey this is a hot hot house just be wary that you haven't got your temperature too high. It has to be comfortable for you, it has to be comfortable for your chinchilla. So I generally set my heating at around 19 degrees Celsius, which I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit, I have to put it up here somewhere what it is. And so if it, if it, goes, if it goes below 19 degrees, it will come on. If it goes above 19 degrees, it goes off. So it's a constant temperature of 19 degrees. So it's just about warm enough for us and it's absolutely perfect for the chinchillas. The chinchillas seem to really thrive at that temperature. It's not too hot and it's not too cold either. It's just perfect for them. Any higher than that, I would start to worry about the chinchilla becoming too hot. So yeah, so just be wary because as I say, in the, in the summer months, we're very, very aware of the temperature and how we must keep the chinchilla cool. But in the winter time, we tend to forget you know, having that central heating on really, really high is going to be really, really detrimental to your chinchilla's health. Obviously, don't sit there in the cold with a coat on shivering because you want to keep your chinchilla cold. 
um, because a, around 19 degrees is perfectly manageable for the chinchilla. Another thing you need to look out for is air quality. So it's in spring and early summer, we often have the windows open to let the air flow through and get some fresh air into the house. But in winter, we don't tend to do that as much. And the reason is, is because it's cold. It is worth opening the window and letting the air flow through because stale and bad quality air can really affect your chinchilla's health. It can also affect your health. It's worth getting that fresh air in. And it doesn't just benefit the chinchilla, it actually benefits you as well to get that good quality air flowing through and not breathing in stale, bad quality air all the time. So yeah, ventilate it, make sure you ventilate. Even if it's cold, just have the window open for half an hour to ventilate that air through. Next one I'd say is light. Some people have their curtains shut during the winter months to actually keep in the heat. And again, that's not good for you and it's not good for your chinchillas either. It's really worth giving them as much daylight as possible. Now this doesn't just help the chinchilla, it also helps you as well. There's seasonal conditions that can affect your mood and the more sunlight and the more light you can actually expose yourself to, the better really. So, and it's the same for animals, you know, they, they don't like being in the dark the whole time. So those are the main things you have to look out for if your chinchilla is in a significantly colder temperature than they were in the summer. They may need more food and they may have an increased appetite and they may put on weight. Watch your temperature in your house, make sure it's not too hot. Ventilation, very, very good for your chinchillas and for you. And also sunlight, making sure they get plenty of light. Obviously don't put them next to a window, but you know, make sure there's plenty of light in the room. And yeah, that's about it really. So they're the main differences, there's no real significant differences in care at all, same diet, same amount of play time. So if you decide not to heat the area in which your chinchillas live in, make sure their water doesn't freeze and make sure they're comfortable. So I hope you've liked this video and found it informative. If you have, give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing. Thanks again, I will see you in another video soon. Bye for now.